chemistry team, and professor of diabetes and vascular medicine at the University of Leicester. I represented the Royal College of General Practitioners on this report. Uh, this is um, three years of work uh, which has culminated its launch today. Uh, basically what we looked at is the extent of coding, classification and diagnostic uh, inaccuracies in GP uh, systems in uh, England. What we found is overall the classification and coding are very very good and um, about 5% of people may have issues, about 2% will have a, a misclassification, 2% will have a misdiagnosis, about 1% will have a miscoding. Uh, now overall this is fairly small numbers if you look at the number of people with diabetes in the UK which is uh, about 2.8 million. As part of the report what we didn't want to just do uh, a review of the literature and the findings but we also wanted to develop tools to try and rectify the situation and we've done that now. Um, so one can go to a website and get uh, uh, tools for GP computer systems to uh, determine patients who may be um, misclassified, miscloded or misdiagnosed and then an audit tool where one can look at each of the patients uh, in turn to find out who may need to be called in uh, either for further tests or just a coding error which could be done on the computer very simply. I think we're very proud because this is the first time that this issue has been tackled at a national level. We're not aware of any other country who's done this nationally. Uh, the impact it will have is that patients will have a better diagnosis and a more accurate diagnosis. People who were misdiagnosed or miscoded, uh, they will be uh, uh, rectified and sorted. And in the future, using these tools, we may not make as many mistakes, uh, although fairly small.